Who's got all that typing going on? Is that you, Yanni? That's me. Oh, sun's yeah, over. Sun's over. You think you can make it in the world of Constructor? Your predecessor wasn't up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the City Housing Authority and the mob, let alone those annoying tenants? Hey, I'll be in hot water if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever-important cursor is controlled by using the mouse. You can push-scroll the map by moving to the sides of the screen. Hey, there's no fooling you, huh, kid? You can move the camera view around using the cursor keys. Hey, why don't you have a look around now? You can zoom right out by pressing delete or rolling the mouse scroll wheel towards you. Well done. Hey, you're not as dumb as you look. You can zoom back in by pressing insert or rolling the mouse scroll wheel away from you. This is your HQ, center of all things important. You better protect it like it was one of your own. If this burns down, it'll be curtains for you. But don't worry, we'll dig you a nice grave in the yard. Instead of standing around picking your nose, get going by selecting this guy. Point your cursor at his feet and press the left mouse button. This is Hello? your foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. He'll instruct his own work team to do all the hard work for you while he files the risk assessments. You can move him around by pointing where you want him to go and clicking the right mouse button. Right out. And here they come. Your workers have finally gotten out of bed to do some hard work. Send your foreman to the beacon we've just placed outside the HQ entrance by pointing and clicking the right mouse button. Right this work team will always tag along. That was a long walk, eh? Every foreman can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll be far more efficient. So you better add two more workers to this guy's team. Select the flashing work team button and make the group up to five workers. Select spare workers on the right to fill the team up to five and then choose the flashing group selection icon to bring them together. Good job! Hey, you're getting the idea with these flashing icons, eh? Now let's exit this screen. Okay, enough of all this goofing off. It's time to do some building. Let's start by placing your first building site. So let's head on over to the real estate agent. The lumber yard will be your first resource, which is handy for a moron like you. <laughs> Get it up and running to supply wood for your future buildings. Try finding a legal position to place the site by moving the cursor footprint around. 
You can tell which land you own because it's glowing your team color. Position the cursor over where you want to build. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. Eh. The arrows show which direction the gate will face. Take a look at that! A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, click the left mouse button while hovering over the footings. To start working on this building, bring your men onto the site. This can be done by simply clicking on the Call Work Team icon. On the other hand, you could just tell your foreman to walk his sorry feet over there. Watch them build! It's a real delight! If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. Congratulations! You have finished your first lumber yard. To restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard will be your source of wood for years to come. Click the left mouse button while hovering over the building foundations, or click the new icon that's appeared on the left hand side of the screen. To restock this resource, call the work team into the building. Now, let's have you stock the building up to 10 units. To speed up wood production, you can call a second team into the building. Yeah, you made enough of a racket. But now we got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the real estate agent to see your new choices. There are now more choices of buildings you can create. Click on the Homes icon to see what's new. You now have access to three low-grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin that will fit neatly beside your lumber yard. You can change the selected building type using the directional buttons. Click the left mouse button to place the site. That one squeezed in real nice. Now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your foreman using the left mouse button and move him to the site by pointing and clicking the right button. While people are inside a building, a flag appears outside. You can click on the base of this brown flag using the left button to select him. Hey, nice house. Yeah, we should have this new house slapped together in no time. Look interesting, Adam. Yeah, pretty fun. I'm just going through the tutorial. I'm sorry I'm not talking. I've got a I real bad headache. I was kind of eating. Well done. Your first home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Building a variety of houses will expand your choices in the future. Congratulations on your first tenant house. Even if it is a bit, uh, drab. To look inside and choose a tenant, Hover your pointer over the base of the building and left click. This place is obviously empty. To put a tenant in this house, click on the appoint tenant icon. There are five levels of tenant, from the riffraff to the upper crust. I'm afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. Take this iffy looking pair. They got plenty of money, but they don't breed quickly enough and might damage your property. 
I think we better use the other couple. Hey, Slobs you! Slobs will do exactly what we need. Breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. Hello. Hey. Hello. You. Hey. Hello. You. Hey. You. Hello. Hey. You. They've moved in and made themselves at home. Don't you love what they've done with the decor? You can find out what these tenants like and don't like by clicking on their picture. These slobs are the lowest level of tenant you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are pretty noisy, and can cause problems for their neighbors. But as long as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained, and they don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. These areas give you information about the house and its tenant. Hover your point over each of the areas to find out more info. Use the cursor keys to move easily between icons. What are you doing? These areas give you information about the house and its tenant. Hover your point over each of the areas to find out more info. Use the cursor keys to move easily between icons. These guys are up to date on their rent, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. There you go. Your bundle of joy is on its way. This display shows you how long before your worker will report for duty at your HQ. To make your tenants a bit more uh, active in the bedroom and deliver your children quicker, I suggest you upgrade their bedroom. Click on the Redecorate Rooms button. There are four rooms in this pad. Each has a different benefit, such as uh, increasing life expectancy, relieving stress, reducing repairs, and increasing birth rate, which is what we need right now. Please select the bedroom. What a dump! There are several stages for each room that must be better than this. Select Upgrade Room to start redecorating. You'll need to call the work team inside the building to complete the upgrade. Excellent. Your team has completed the new bedroom. Doesn't that look better? Hopefully it will have the desired effect. Let's go back to the main screen and see how they're getting on. You'll notice that the birth rate has improved. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear, just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, the quicker they breed, and the more rent they are willing to pay. I've told you what to do. You'll notice that the birth rate has improved. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear, just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, 
the quicker they breed and the more rent they are willing to pay. I'm back, Yannick. What's up? Back. Everyone wants a nice yard to go with their house. Mm -hmm. So let's start by improving the fence. So everybody wants a nice yard. Let's improve the fence. At the moment, you only have a limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge, of course. Please select and purchase it. You need to get those lazy workers off their coffee break and out into the yard to do some work. You better call them back out. Each fence has a different defensive ability, as well as being aesthetically pleasing to your tenants. That looks much better and will keep your tenant happy. Now, let's leave the house and have a look around, eh? You can quickly see what each house is producing. Rent, workers, or more tenants. As shown by the floating icon above the house. If something else is wrong, it'll be shown there instead. Now we need to teach you how to look after your developments. Let's introduce you to one of our other characters, the Repairman. Please select this fine gentleman over here. Your no, repairman you really want? knows how to use a wrench. If you switch on auto repair, he will circle around all of your buildings in his current development, repairing them one after another for you. Bada bing. On the other hand, you can manually prioritize his work by moving him inside a particular building. Once the property is in immaculate condition, <coughs> he'll move on to his next job. Whoa, what's going on here? This dude looks like he's up to no good. Someone has stolen some resources from your site in Katie Swallow's development. It might not be too late to catch him and get them back. All right, all what right. What are you all doing? Too late. He's disappeared down your subway station and looks like he's stolen all your wood. You'll need to restock that place. Get one of your teams back inside your lumber yard. Oh. Yeah, looks like something's going on in here. Let's have a look inside the house. Some people are never happy. They've sent a complaint letter to the housing authority. Click on their heads to see what's wrong. Hey, your factory has been going day and night. We can't stand the noise anymore. Close it down for a while or give us double pane windows. Some people are They're obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them happy by getting your work team out of the factory. Right on, eh? Ah, that was easy to deal with. They're not always so simple. No matter how much you have, it's never enough. I think you need to buy some extra land for your next building project. Please select the world map icon. Use the left mouse button to select individual developments. The larger the development, the more expensive it'll be. Please select the Brompton development. Now buy the development by clicking on the Buy Development icon. Now that we got some more land, you can finally build your next home. 
Go back to your real estate agent and see what's available. Now it's time to create another tenant home. Once you have created at least one of each, it will unlock more varieties. Please select a simple lodge this time. Okay, you can now place this lodge anywhere in your new development. You'll see that you can orient the house by moving it closer to one side than the other. Or you can cycle through the directions by clicking the right mouse button. Once you're happy with the position, click the left mouse button to place it. Now, get those work teams on site to finish the building. Now you need to put a tenant in this new lodge. Please use the slob tenants as before. Hey, you! Each tenant has a certain life expectancy. You have a limited number of tenants, so you must breed more to guarantee they'll be ready when you need them later in the game. Please instruct your new tenants to breed a level one tenant. Well done. Now, to speed up the breeding process, you should improve their bedroom, like last time. Now please improve their fence to keep them happy. A picket fence would look very nice. Okay, if you're ready to move on, then we need to build the final low-grade property, a Soweto hut. Once you do this, it'll unlock the next resource, a cement factory. Please select the real estate agent and choose the Soweto hut. A larger yard will please your tenant more and make it easier to decorate with objects. You can expand the edges of the plot by holding shift and pressing the cursor keys. Once you're happy with the location of your Soweto hut, Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Now get one of your work teams on site to finish this building. The housing authority surveyor is going to let you build some actual houses after you've built the cement yard. This house now needs a tenant who will start paying us rent. We have a business to run and we need to make money. Please select the greaser tenants. Hello. It is possible to force tenants to pay more rent. Doing this will make them less happy, which may cause you problems, so be careful. Now, let's increase their rent by at least 25%. To make sure you keep track of what's going on in the outside world when you're inside a building, you can toggle the radar on or off by pressing the R key. Come on, give it a try before you exit the house. To look after these new houses, please select your other repairman. Move him to Brompton Development and set him auto-repairing.
Are you kidding or what? All right. I think it's time to buy another larger development to give you room to expand your empire. Please buy Beaverbrook Development on the world map screen. After building all the level 1 tenant houses, you can now build a cement factory on your new plot of land. Select the cement factory via the real estate agent and build this now. Now it's time to finish. You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You'll need to send the work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. I know. has been finished and is now up and running. Now start some real buildings. We ought to get another one of those repairmen to circle this development. Eh, but we don't have any spare ones. Here's how to knock out new ones in your HQ. If you click on the HQ icon in the top left, using the right mouse button, it'll scroll the map to its location. Alternatively, using the left mouse button will take you straight inside. This is your HQ screen, which allows you to monitor how many people and tenants you currently have or are in production. In here, you can also convert workers into other characters. Convert three spare workers into a repairman by clicking the icon. Now set this new repairman to auto repair on the Beaverbrook development. We now need a gadget factory to start manufacturing products and keep your tenants happy. Select the gadget factory and place it in your new development. Now get one of your work teams on site to finish this building. You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You'll need to send the work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. Hey, right. Right. Hey. Houses and yards to start being improved. 
gadgets for houses, such as computers to create the next level of tenants, will soon be available. The Gadget Factory can be accessed by either clicking on its footprint or clicking on the Gadget Factory icon on the left. Welcome to your Gadget Factory. Here you can build many items to enhance the interior and exterior of your houses. Planting trees in your tenants' yards will give them the shade they need to dodge sun rays. It'll stop them complaining too. Select the trees icon and then click again to add it to the queue. The figure in the bottom right corner shows the number waiting to be produced. You'll need to call a work team into the building to complete the production. It's a shame money doesn't grow on trees that quick, eh? Now that they are in stock, you can choose where to place them by clicking the deliver icon. Please put two trees in a single yard. Use the left mouse button to place a marker and the delivery man will bring it to the site shortly. Just make sure it's in a legal position in the yard. Once you've placed all objects that you want to, press the right mouse button to exit the mode. Oh yeah, I can smell their green thumbs from here. Now return to the gadget factory to see what else will improve your tenants' lives. More gadgets are now available. The Hokey Cokey 2000 is a state-of-the-art personal computer which will enrich child education. Build lots of computers so we can start producing better tenants. Now let's get one of these delivered to your posh Soweto hut. Select the deliver button to have your delivery guy personally transported. Target the Soweto hut and press the right mouse button to begin the delivery. All right. Plug and play. Let's go inside and check the gadget screen to see if they've turned it on correctly. Jeez, you can really see the 256 colors in all their glory. Gadgets can also be collected by the tenant himself to avoid waiting for a delivery. Now with the computer installed, this property is able to produce next level tenants. Please select the level go, two spread. tenant birth type. All right, good night, buddy. This level two tenant will be the perfect choice for our state of the art bungalow. So let's go build one while we wait for the whippersnapper to grow up. Oh, baby, I've always wanted a bungalow. Get your work team on site to build it. Production has halted. An enemy spy has wandered on site. We need to get rid of him as soon as possible. Your workers can attack any enemy character. Select one of your workers and then hover over the enemy and press the right mouse button Boy. to attack. Alternatively, you can select multiple characters by lassoing them. Good job! Now to just finish the building work. Oh, 
any games. Grumpy. Now it's time to get yeah, I'm playing Constructor, the new version. So like what you, I'm screaming it on, on like Punks four or five or places, stones. actually. The choice is yours. I'm not doing anything currently, actually. Ah. Uh. I'm trying to find something to do past a couple of hours. It's a building. It's an old game. It was made in 1997, and then it came out again. I think it was 1997. Sorry, my dogs are barking their head off. Fine. It's starting to get to be that time of year where people are lighting off fireworks, I think. You know what I mean? Will ya? Now it's time yeah. to get an appropriate tenant for this little box. Select either of the level two tenants. Hey. Punks or students. The choice is yours. <laughs> Listen, you. These guys will happily pay their rent every month, but uh, there are quicker ways of making money, huh? Yeah, let's step outside for a chat. Things in Constructor aren't always above board. A good way to make money is to steal someone else's hard-earned assets and then sell them quickly before someone comes knocking. To take over a property, First, select one of your foremen. Now take your foreman Hello? and his team to the beacon outside the gate of the enemy house by hovering over the beacon and pressing the right mouse button. Right on. Going over to take over an enemy area, I guess, in this game. Target your foreman at this house by hovering over the footprint and clicking the right mouse button. Right now. Yeah, you. Once he's demolished the entire fence, eh, the house will be yours. Mario, the enemy's cousin, happens to be in town, and he doesn't look happy. I think you might be saying hello to his little friend, so. <laughs> Sorry, I walked you right into that one. It seems it's not always that easy. Hopefully, they can put him back together. Luckily, these foremen are a bit like cats, although without nine lives. Obviously, we're gonna need some underhand tactics of our own. Time to introduce you to the undesirables. Now we have access to the hippie commune, home of the dimwit. Let's get one of those slapped together quick. I'm building a hippie commune. Now we have access to the hippie commune, home of the dimwit. Let's get one of those slapped together quick. These undesirable abodes take an awful lot of resources, so make sure you have enough and get your work team on site.
Now let's take a look inside the hippie commune by clicking on the base of the building. Looks like you got the lazy bum out of bed. Oh, later, you man. You can choose what to use him for by clicking on the pictures. Let's have us a street party. You can guide this dimwit by pointing where you want him to walk and clicking the right mouse button. Yeah, man. Let's start a party outside the enemy house to distract his people. When the cursor goes green, yeah, you can man. select the hippie's target position. I know yeah, he's slow, man. but he'll get there eventually. See, undesirables ain't allowed on the subway network. You can track his progress by selecting the hippie and clicking on the follow icon. The camera will follow him all the way. Watch him go! <laughs> that should keep people distracted. So let's try taking that house over again, using your foreman. Please select the foreman Aye? and target the house yeah, using yeah. the right mouse button. You can speed up the process by using multiple foremen. And you can use your workers to ward off anyone who tries to stop you. You successfully took over that house. You should sell it now to make a quick buck. Go inside the house and click on the sell house icon. Okay, I think I spent enough of my precious time trying to show you the ropes. You, buddy, need to step up to the plate and take over the day-to-day -day running. Now, get some of the available houses built on a double. I'll be in touch. Don't call me, I'll call you. Kids these days. I know. I know. I know. God almighty. What in the world is going on here? I leave you alone for five minutes and utter mayhem breaks out. The mob has got our HQ surrounded. They're against us everywhere. They're gonna blow us to kingdom come. Aw, oh, bad luck. Your HQ was blown to smithereens. Sweet dreams, sucker. Well, that was a very interesting tutorial. Much better than the old tutorial, if I remember correctly.
Well, this is Grumpy Old Gamer. Thanks for joining me for the tutorial for Constructor 2. Constructor Copyright 2017 came out yesterday, I do believe. That was the tutorial playthrough. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you much. I'll be back for some more gameplay in about after about a five minute break if you're watching the live stream. So thank you much. Thank <laughs> you. 